Oliver Reed. Oh, that's different. Mamma Mia, what a shag. Big fat back. He meets this bitch. Bert Lancaster, scrumptious. He falls in love with the cunt. And Paul McCartney, strangely enough. It's Sir Paul now, isn't it? Hedy Lamar. Please, will you let me say what I'm saying? That's who it was in the film, Hedy Lamar. Yeah, in the film, yeah. She's a cunt. Delilah. Yeah. Right, who are? Oh, he's got this lovely long hair, as was the style in them days. And it's where he's got his strength from. One night, she's drugged him, put a potion in his drink. He's gone all woozy, clonked out on the marble floor. She's crept off like the rat she is, and she's come back with a pair of scissors. She's given him the full Monty, short back and sides. Next morning, he's woke up, he's gone in the bathroom for a wash, looked in the mirror, seen the state of his barnet, and he's flipped his lid. He hit the roof, he's gone apeshit. I've taken away your strength, Samson. He's reached for his trusty broadsword, only to discover he can't pick it up. His strength was in his hair, you see. Couldn't even pick up his fucking toothbrush. From then on, his life was terrible. Fell apart. They stabbed his eyes out, blinded him, stuck him in a dungeon, bread and water, whip, lash, morning, noon and night. His life was a fucking misery. All the while, see, his hair's growing back in. He's getting stronger. She's come to visit him, tries to make it up, but he don't want to know. Well, he does, sort of. But anyway... Now, by this stage, his hair's down here. His might's coming back, slowly but surely. And comes the day of the big party in the temple, he's well up for it, can't wait, bent on vengeance. But he's got fuck all on him. No weapons, no nothing. He's chained up between these two columns. Great, thick pillars. All the guests are taunting him, slagging him off, calling him this and that, every name under the sun. And he thinks to himself, right, fuck you lot, have some of this. And with his bare hands, with his simple, big, bare fucking hands, he's pushed and he's pushed, pushed and pushed, huffing and puffing, heaving and hoeing, until the very foundations of the house of debauchery start to crack, to yield, to crumble. And I'm telling you, they built things proper in them days, built to last. This was no mean feat. And with one mammoth shove, one terrible thrust, he brought the old caboodle crash into the ground. He's killed the old fucking lot of them. And himself. And himself? Well, he don't give a fuck about himself by this point, do he? And all because... All because, all because, and all because of a woman. Mm.